right, my brothers, let me kick this off with a little story that'll hit close to home for many of you. I'm at this bustling coffee shop, minding my own business, when I notice a stunning woman glancing my way. Now, old me would have jumped at the chance, rushed over, and tried to sweep her off her feet with charm and wit. But not this time. I stayed put, caught up in my world, occasionally meeting her gaze with a calm, confident smile. Fast forward 30 minutes, she walks over, introduces herself, and guess what? We ended up talking for hours. This, gentlemen, was the moment I realized the power of attraction isn't just in the pursuit. It's in being someone worth pursuing. It's about creating a pull so strong, they come to you. And that's exactly what we're diving into today. Tip 1. Be the mystery man. All right, fellas, let's dive deeper into the art of becoming the mystery man. Picture this. You're the guy who's always available, always on the dial, ready to shower her with texts, calls, and undivided attention. Sounds like the perfect gentleman, right? Wrong. That's a one-way ticket to being taken for granted. Being overly available makes you predictable, and predictability is the silent killer of attraction. So, what's the game plan? Embrace a bit of mystery. Instead of laying all your cards out on the table, keep a few in your hand. Let her ponder about your next move. Make her question what adventures you're embarking on when you're out of sight. This doesn't mean you go cold, far from it. You're simply giving the story of you some suspense, some intrigue. It's like your favorite TV show. If you knew all the plot twists in advance, why would you bother tuning in? Be the season finale she can't miss, not the rerun she's seen a thousand times. This curiosity you're cultivating, it's a magnet. It draws her in, makes you the puzzle she's eager to solve. And the beauty of it is, as she spends time trying to figure you out, she becomes more invested in the story of you. That's the power of being the mystery man. Tip number two, the art of patience in messaging. Now, let's shift gears to messaging, because mastering this is like holding the keys to the kingdom. In an age where instant gratification is the norm, where messages are sent with the expectation of immediate replies, being the guy who doesn't play by these rules sets you apart. This is where the art of patience becomes your ally. Imagine she's just texted you. Your first instinct might be to reply right away, to keep the conversation flowing. But here's where you zag when everyone else zigs. You wait. This isn't about making her anxious or playing hard to get. It's about building anticipation, creating a sense of longing for your next message. And when you do respond, you do so with purpose, with messages that spark curiosity, that make her laugh or provoke thought. This shows you're not just another guy lost in the sea of her social notifications. You're the message she looks forward to. Your restraint signals that you're a man who values not just your time, but also the quality of the interaction. You're not just another ping in her phone. You're the conversation she's eager to return to. This careful dance of messaging is not about playing games. It's a statement. It says, I'm worth the wait. And when done right, it makes every message you send a chapter she's eager to read in the unfolding novel of you. Tip number three, the social butterfly effect. Gentlemen, let's delve into the nuances of the social butterfly effect. Understand, this isn't about flitting from flower to flower with reckless abandon. No, it's about demonstrating your social acumen, your ability to engage and connect with people, particularly women, in a way that's respectful, charismatic, and utterly captivating. When you're seen having genuine, light-hearted interactions with women, whether it's at a social gathering, a cafe, or even across social media platforms, it sends a powerful message. It whispers into the air, this man, he's something special. It's not about making her feel like just another number. It's about showing that you're personable, that you're someone women feel comfortable and happy to be around. This visibility of your social skills acts like a beacon it's not about inciting jealousy. Far from it. It's about demonstrating your desirability, your approachability, and your confidence in social settings. This social proof elevates your status in her eyes. It's as if you're saying without saying, I'm a man of value, a man worth knowing. And trust me, 
that realization can turn a spark of interest into a flame of attraction. Tip number four, compliments with a twist. Now, let's refine our approach to compliments. The goal here isn't just to make her feel good, it's to make her feel seen, to make an impact that lingers long after the words have left your lips. But here's where you add a masterful twist. After delivering a sincere, heartfelt compliment, step back, let the moment breathe. This isn't about playing coy or withholding affection. It's about creating space for the compliment to truly resonate. This space, this pause, allows her to reflect on your words, on the sincerity behind them, and on you. It's about sparking curiosity, about leaving her wanting more of the man who sees her for who she is and appreciates her. This approach turns a simple compliment into a memorable moment, one that she'll replay in her mind, wondering about the man who made her feel so valued and then gave her the emotional room to ponder on it. It's a subtle dance of giving and taking, a dance that, when done right, can lead her to chase the connection further, driven by the desire to experience more of those genuine, uplifting moments with you. Tip number five, agree to disagree. Finally, let's tackle the concept of agreeing to disagree. This isn't about seeking out conflict or being contrarian for the sake of it. It's about demonstrating depth, the courage of your convictions, and the strength of your character. When a moment arises where your opinions diverge, embrace it. Share your perspective with respect, with clarity, and without diminishing hers. This shows you're not just another yes man, but a man of substance, a man who stands by his values. This integrity and confidence can be incredibly appealing. It invites her into a dialogue, into a space where two individuals can share, challenge, and grow from each other's viewpoints. It's a testament to your maturity and your respect for her intellect. Agreeing to disagree isn't about creating distance. It's about building a foundation for deeper, more meaningful interactions. It's about showing that you're a man who respects her enough to share the real you, your true thoughts and beliefs. And believe me, that's a level of authenticity that can deeply attract and engage a woman's interest, setting you apart as a man worth pursuing. Tip number six, the non-reactive man. Diving deeper into becoming the non-reactive man, it's crucial to understand the power of composure. Life will inevitably throw curveballs your way, and how you respond to these, especially in the eyes of someone you're interested in, can speak volumes. Being non-reactive doesn't mean you're indifferent or uncaring. Rather, it signifies that you're secure enough in yourself not to be easily rattled. This trait is magnetic. It's not just about avoiding negative reactions to provocations or misunderstandings. It's about maintaining your cool in all situations, showing that you're a man of patience and resilience. This level of emotional intelligence and stability is a beacon of strength, showcasing your ability to handle life's ups and downs with grace. It tells her that you're a safe harbor, a rock in turbulent seas, and believe me, that's incredibly attractive. It communicates that you're not just reacting to the world around you, but actively shaping your response to it with thoughtfulness and intention. Tip number seven, reverse psychology. Exploring the nuances of reverse psychology, it's about subtly communicating that your happiness and self-worth are not dependent on anyone else. This isn't about playing hard to get. It's a genuine reflection of your self-sufficiency and confidence. By embodying an, I enjoy your company, but I don't need it to be happy, attitude, you naturally increase your allure. This approach doesn't push her away, rather, it pulls her closer as she recognizes your independence and strength. It's a delicate balance, a dance of showing interest, while also demonstrating that your happiness isn't contingent on her presence in your life. This dynamic fosters a healthy relationship where both parties come together not out of neediness but out of genuine desire and appreciation for each other. When you value yourself, it sets the standard for how others value and treat you, creating a foundation of mutual respect and admiration. Tip number eight, the importance of your own world. Emphasizing the importance of having your own vibrant life cannot be overstated. Casually dating or simply enjoying a variety of social activities signifies that you lead a full and engaging life. This isn't about creating a facade of being in demand. It's about genuinely investing in your own interests, passions, and relationships. It shows that you're not waiting for someone to fill a void, 
you are the architect of your own happiness. This mindset not only makes you more attractive, but also ensures that when someone does enter your life, they are in addition to it, not the sole source of your contentment. Transparency and honesty in your interactions underscore your integrity, showing that you're a man of value who respects not only himself, but also those he interacts with. This authenticity attracts genuine connections, setting the stage for relationships built on trust and mutual respect. So, there you have it, my brothers. These insights are not about tricking someone into being interested in you. It's about cultivating a life and presence so compelling that they naturally draw others toward you. By embracing these principles, you're not just learning how to make women chase you. You're on a path to becoming a more grounded, confident, and attractive individual in every aspect of your life. So then, hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into personal development and attracting the life you want and deserve. Until our paths cross again, stay confident, stay genuine, and above all, stay you. Peace out, my brothers. I'll see you in the next one.